And we are coming live on YouTube from British Columbia, Canada. My name is Dana Durnford. You are probably watching this on YouTube, uh, one of the many sites that upload it. And we are very grateful to everybody that has supported me and us, uh, the Fukushima Hounds. It's not me, and I don't even think that way. And I got around six, I lied, I got around 60 headlines tonight, not 40. And haha, ha, the joke is on you. That means I got 20 more headlines to go. We got any audio? Yeah, audio's working. Good night, everybody. Let me give you that background noise for you. Hang on a second. And standing foot. I see Miss Milky is here. I was was uh, around. I never caught the conversation. I got company, and we're still gonna go with the show, of course, because that's the way we roll. DC Kate and Kate's got uh, Fukushima Hounds chat room down below. I made it in there last night. Kate left me a message that somebody from back east. And I just went to check to make sure it wasn't family because that would be really odd. And wouldn't to me uh, that would worry me if my family was going there instead of where they normally would go first. And uh, it was concerning a um, a video I had taken off my site a couple of years back, four years back or something like that. The system has posted my family's names, telephone numbers, addresses to get at me a number of times, and I find that really threatening. But it doesn't stop me. And it doesn't rattle me, but I find it threatening. In other words, you know, I take really strong notice of stuff like that. And let me get started. And I'm not going to try to say hi to everybody because I'm slack. My voice is a little rough. Alex Smith, we're going to cover Fukushima meltdowns, melt throughs, and melt out. And I went to grab all these headlines. Uh, hang on a second. Now, my cigarettes don't got no filters, and they don't got 4,000 chemicals, so don't give me a hard time. And the reason your cigarettes are allowed to have 4,000 chemicals in it is because the EPA grandfathered in 65,000 chemicals in 1981 when they hung the shingle outside their door. Pretty sweet album, right? Come on, computer. Oh, shit. That broke apart. Let me see. I guess it got me uh, time of that. If you leave your memory cards in your computer, they'll heat up and melt on you. They get brittle and break. Looks like I'm gonna have to bring out the noisy computer because I'm not. I'm not getting the. It's not popping up. And we'll come back out. Son of a. Got out of the containment vessels. That really ticks me off because that's the heart of the matter is the melt throughs and the melt outs. See how they do that? It's like half life, you know, but it's times 10. So, why do they call it a half life? Because it decays by half. But should the explanation really stop right there? You're getting Zoe. You tell her. What's going on, Zoe? Smarten up. Okay. Hey. Hey, hey, I'm sorry, folks. Okay, Zoe. Okay. Come see Dana. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Get in the house. Get your butt in this door. That a dog. You're some good little dog. You are. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down, Zoe. 15 reactors in an area affected by the 311 quake. 15. And other reports of 14 reactors. It wasn't just Fukushima Daiichi, right? The Daini had four reactors that they couldn't get into a shutdown for four or five days. And we don't really know the Takai Daini took four days to achieve cold shutdown. But can we really trust him? Can we trust these people to tell us anything? That was May the 18th, 2012. Right, so that was over a year later that headline came out, 15 uh, reactors. So worse than a melt through, a melt out. 
uh, July the 9th, 2011 headline. Meltout nuclear fuel struck fear in the groundwater. The worst excess of the melt through. TEPCO do not hide this possibility. It's an unimaginable terrible reality that this stuff has left its containment. There is no technology to recover that. Okay, and as I get through these 60 odd headlines, 70 headlines, whatever I got there now, Prime Minister ordered a halt to cooling after he was advised seawater could cause a chain reaction or a recriticality. That was May the 21st, right? And remember the, the sulfur peroxide buckyballs, and I forgot the links again before the show again tonight, so they'll show up in the video, and there's a peer review study about these buckyballs is a better way to talk about it and how they ingest particles and atoms and they become like little nuclear engines but they're so tiny you know one ten thousandth of a millionth of a meter is smaller like you know how you clean your house and the dust is floating around even though you clean your house and you look at the sunshine through the window and you see these little tiny particles of dust and you know you can't collect that you know you can't wipe that off anything uh, but it drives you crazy, right? Because you clean the house spotless. Well, it's smaller than that. And the Prime Minister ordered a halt to the cooling after he was advised the seawater could cause a chain reaction or recriticality. Think about the Stanford and the Harvard and the MIT uh, little short videos I showed you guys and the links to the full videos in the last week I, I posted on this site. Well, if you go watch the full videos, they talk about... When they heard they sprayed salt water on the reactors at those institutions, at like MIT and Stanford and Harvard, their instant reaction was, she's done. That is done for. Because the salt water, the way it works with the cladding, with the casings, with the zirconium casings on the, the, the assemblies. But not only that, but the fuel pools themselves, all the equipment, if you spray salt water on it, what's going to happen? Right, you know, salt water rust. And that's why whip is such a joke in Carlsbad, New Mexico. You're putting all these drums and everything in on, on salt. And you don't think with the condensation and everything else that you're not, because of the heat, that you're not going to have them rust out uh, in record time. And studies show they would rust out in about five years. But let me keep going because I won't get nothing done if I keep yakking. More serious than a meltdown, uh, June 7, 2011. Japan's government now raising possibility that fuel had a melt-through at all three reactors. June 7, 2011. The government is raising the possibility there was a melt-through, melt-through, at all three reactors two months later. Right, that, that, uh, June 7. Next headline, molten fuel bore a hole at the bottom of the containment vessel at reactor number one. And reactor number one, most of the building is still there, but the top couple of floors are missing. They're missing. It was a million sievers outside the gate. Okay, Zoe, you settle down, honey. May 17, 2011. The pressure vessel is completely broken. University, Kyoto University nuclear professor. And he's talking about unit one. May 17, 2011. The containment was broken. October 19, 2012, nuclear engineer says, the new way to locate the Fukushima molten fuel technique means they're expecting to find the stuff very deep into the ground, unless it's just an experiment. Because he's puzzled why they were getting equipment that would, was no good for the surface, but was only good for deep underground. And so why, why, why was that their first approach was his wonder, right? And so he speculated and postulated, of course, that, you know, the coriums were, which is the cores, the hot rods, the 3,450, uh, um, oh my goodness, bundles. The bundles, there's 80 rods in a bundle. It was 3,450 bundles in each reactor, right? When it's running at its peak. And they can run it with less rods. Uh, but those are running at capacity. But unit three, now all the rods, all, all the buildings had plutonium in them. 
All, all the reactors, as far as we know, and that's been pretty well proven now, 100%. They've been using plutonium in all the reactors, not just reactor 3. And we talk about reactor 3, the MOX fuel, and we forget about uh, the other couple of reactors' fuels. It gets thrown out of the equation like it doesn't matter, or like there was no way there might have been not been plutonium, you know, large amounts of this enriched... It's because the fuel they're using at Fukushima uh, was from missiles that sat in silos for a few decades. And then they took it and sent it to Japan, and then they put it to the chain reaction again. Now, when you put uh, these elements through a chain reaction, you make them a couple of million times more deadly. If you do it again, you make them a couple of million times more deadly again. So a couple of million times, a couple of million times, these are... These are what makes this so toxic and so deadly and so scary and so frightening. And why the apologists are so out there, so vicious, so demented, so maniacal to lie and put bananas and potatoes and walking in the sunshine. You see Ken Buesler's up on the Vancouver Aquarium? I left a comment there a few hours ago. I passed out for a bit. But that really, uh, that burnt me out, the uh, Vancouver Aquarium big Vancouver Aquarium here in British Columbia, had Ken Buesler in there yesterday. Unbelievable. I would have drove down there if I hadn't known that. I would have killed myself. I would have took a boat and went down there. I would have done something. But there's no way I would have let that happen if I hadn't known he was in Vancouver. Dirty scum. And the first thing he does is he mentions... Uh, how there's so much uranium in the ocean, natural uranium on the ocean from rocks, and that's uh, 37,000 petabequals, and how there was 15 million petabequals of uh, potassium-40 in the ocean, and how there's only something like 70 petabequals of cesium-137 in the ocean, therefore, it's not very bad. Well, the, the, the potassium-40 is insignificant. It's got nothing to do with this. The, the uranium in the rocks is insignificant. It's got nothing to do with this. This is natural stuff. They never went through the chain reaction yet. And so he done it again, where he equated like the mass amount that's in the ocean of just harmless, stupid. It's not, I want to just freaking chew his head off. I really hate his guts at this stage. I hate his guts because that's all he does is lie. It's not hard to call him out because all he does is lie. He freaking lies the entire way through. And the moderators are there with their thumbs up their freaking arse. It's sickening because people are dying from this. People are being murdered by this. The entire country of Japan is being destroyed by this. And we let these cocksuckers, these fucking, fucking prick fucking maggots, these fucking cocksuckers. He's a cocksucking fucking prick. I can't contain it anymore. This guy is a fucking monster. That's worse than Ted Bundy and all the mass killers put the fucking getter. That fucking Ken Buesler, those pricks at Woodhull. Excuse me for fucking losing it. But I'm fucking sick of it. That prick is out there and he's getting every fucking medium on the planet, every venue on the planet, every platform on the fucking planet. And I can't get nothing. And all he does is lie the entire fucking time with pictures and fucking graphs. A stupid idiot could call him out in a fucking heartbeat. But our luscious fucking institutions and medias and academics can't tell the difference between a fucking banana and a nuclear fucking fuel rod. And people are upset because I want to smash their fucking teeth down their throat. What do you expect? All I do is fucking vet everything because I, if I make a fucking mistake, that'll be fucking used to destroy me. He gets up there on fucking video with fake fucking diagrams and our entire fucking universe can't call him out and say, stop it. The, the university that gave him degrees can't say, hey Ken, fucking stop it. If Ken had a black belt and was out there punching people in the fucking head, his instructor found out, would come and beat the shit out of him. But our institutions, our academics, the people we turn to in the media today, 
can't take a fucking stand to the point where I got to rant and rave and scream and swear because it when a topic comes up at this stage now, I'm ready to fucking snap. Because nobody will fucking help. It's us against everything out there. It's you against every fucking thing out there. It's a goddamn fucking wall. You know, I hear where everybody's coming from. Are we ever going to get ahead? Are we ever going to break even? Well, we took the bananas away from them. They're terrified to use it. But you can't stop people like Ken at the lectures. Unless you get up in the lecture and say, That's a lie. That's a lie, sir. You can't say that. I'm not saying be an animal like I am. I'm not saying fucking snap, swear. I'm saying the opposite of that. I say, hey, you know, that's that got nothing to do with it. And if you got to walk out, demand your money back. And then complain to the media. He went to a lecture and he told us lies. The moderator never fucking stopped him. The institutions didn't correct him. There was no counterbalance. There was no checks and fucking balances. There was no other narrative. It's his way or no other way. And people defended his right to be a fucking lying monster. Let me keep going because I just wigged out. It's fucking not right that the media grabs people like that. Our institutions, our Vancouver Aquarium, and put him up on a pedestal. And never put a disclaimer there. This man is insane. At least do that. So a new way to locate Fukushima molten fuel means they're expecting to find the stuff very deep into the ground. Let me keep going. Japan Nuclear Agency finally admits fuel is melted in reactors 1, 2, and 3. That was published on April 20th, 2011. The Yomari uh, Shibu, S-H-I-M-B-U. One to three reactors, the fuel has melted. Now when that fuel melts, it's at a huge temperature. It only has to hit around 1800. It'll go through the, the reactor itself. The containment, it'll keep uh, increasing its heat now to four and five and 6,000 degree temperatures. So there's nothing you can make that can contain it. So why do, why do people believe that uh, everything stayed intact? And that these coriums are not loose and releasing massive amounts of fissionable products into our environment. Not just through, you know, the, the, the releases of splitting in the atom, but from water running over the hot pieces of the coriums, the radiated material that the coriums came in contact with. Even the water running over that stuff becomes radioactive. If you if you took something that was part of the building and it was cannibalized, as that turned into, a, it was aerosoled at seven, eight, nine thousand degree temperatures, as that's aerosoled and atomized, right, they are radioactive elements. They're just as deadly as the cesium and they're just as deadly, and whenever you hear cesium, it's a hundred times more strontium. Let me keep going. I'll get back on track because I wigged out because that really pisses me off. So I'm coming after Ken now. Fuck you, buddy. Now you're going to get it with both gears from here on out. No more mercy. No more Mr. Nice Guy. What I've done tonight was nice. What's coming now is going to be really fucking nasty. I'm going to hound you, boy. Your, to your numbers, uh, your days of giving lectures are fucking almost done. Don't forget that you heard it here first. Because I'll be phoning up these fucking places. I'll be watching from now on. When you're going to give a lecture, I'm going to make sure there's another narrative in that fucking audience that you can count on it should have been me I should have been down in Vancouver yesterday and I would have been you fuckers so I'll be watching you from now on and I'll be I'll be definitely getting in your fucking face for the rest of your life buddy Gunderson liquid releases of nuclear material into the ocean will continue for years and years at the Fukushima Daiichi already ten times Chernobyl this is March 26, 2013. It was much more than that already. But wait till you read, hear the rest of these headlines coming up. New TEPCO analyst shows 94% of the nuclear fuel melted in reactor number 3. 94%! Yet they're out there saying it's contained. They're out there, Ken Buesler and others, and the apologists and the bootlicking cheerleading lapdogs for the industry are out there saying that it's contained, that there was just a plume 
came out of there and they're tracking it and they're keeping an eye on it and it's a big ocean so don't fucking worry about it. 300 million kilometers, no big deal. And that'd be true if it was just a plume. But it's a plume coming out of there every minute. 1,440 plumes a day, minutes. 365 days a year times 1,440 plumes a minute. It's like a 1,000 pounds of St. Paddy's Day dye a minute. And St. Paddy's Day, when they put dye into a river, they're only using about 25 or 30 pounds. And the whole fucking river turns green. Well, what about if you put a 1,000 pounds of dye in that river every fucking minute for 1,440 minutes in a day? Just for one day. That'd be a big fucking plume. Much bigger than what they're talking about. But that's what's going on. And it's going on every day there's another plume coming out of there. And at two miles an hour, it's going to beat the shit out of your coastline in 130 days. And it's been 1160 plus days. A bit of off gas and some potassium 40 here while I'm talking. You call it burping. We call it off gas and potassium 40. Because that's what it's like. It's stupid. And yet this freak of nature... This disgusting maggot of our society. Like if he lived in my community, I would leave my community. Because my community is, is contaminated. Because Ken Buesler and the likes of it are in my fucking environment. I would go see him in a lecture to call him out. But I would, there was no way I would live in the same community with that guy. For one thing, I would end up in jail for the rest of my life. Because something stupid would have to happen before I would give it up. Because that's the only way we can deal with monsters. You know... We, we have become monster hunters. That's what we are. The Fukushima hounds, we're actually monster hunters. We hunt out the monsters and we try to expose them for being monsters. These people, you know, they're not human like me and you. They don't give a fuck about life like me and you. They don't care about future like me and you. They don't think like a rational person. They see a paycheck, what do they got to do to get it? And they will fucking murder their own loved ones. They will lie to everything around them. All their friends, their relatives, their aunts, their uncles, their nephews, their cousins, their fucking children. They will stab them in the back to keep the lie alive. They won't tell their fucking family how, what radiation does. Because they won't be the hero no more. They won't be the super uh, parent anymore. They'll be a monster that they know they are. They know who they are. They got the education. They know what they're saying is lies. They are the most frightening, maniacal fucking things on this planet. You are, I always said a politician was frightening. They got nothing on a, on a nuclear lobbyist. And they're like a lobbyist shouldn't exist. They only exist because of an amendment to the slavery laws. With corporate personhood. You know, they took slavery laws and gave corporations rights. And then they took away all your freedoms. And then they put this thing on this planet that doesn't exist in our solar system. It doesn't exist on any other fucking planet. It doesn't, it's not even created by the sun. The radioactive elements that they're man-made are 100% man-made on this planet. And they better not get into your environment because you cannot tolerate them. Your children can't tolerate them. Your immune system cannot tolerate them. Your body attacks it. If you get a single radioactive atom particle, isotope into your body, your body will build a fucking sarcophagus around it to try to contain it. And if they cremate you when you die of that cancer, you will liberate that fucking isotope. So how the fuck is it that people say it's okay, or it's not bad, or it's fucking harmless, or it's like a banana, or it's like walking in the sunshine? How the fuck is that like walking in the sunshine. How the fuck is that like anything else in our entire solar system? How is that like anything we have ever experienced before? That's your phone, Terry? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's okay, boy. Should have known that. I should have told you I was going live. Fuel pellets could have been carried to different parts of the plant. Ex Fukushima engineer. Now, what he's talking about, you know, they burrowed into the ground. Because the rods, the buildings detonated. The three reactors friggin' blew up. They blew up. Right? They had hydrogen explosions where they ejected material three to five miles up. Right? We got the studies on that 15,000 to 25,000 feet ejections of the plumes. Well, the jet streams at 100 miles an hour is 2,400 miles in 24 hours. 
But no, there's no, there's no, you know, the NRC uh, and the rest of these nuclear apologists and nuclear industry, the nuclear mouthpieces, the the idiots of our society, the creatures of our society, the maggots, the parasitic of our society, are saying no. There's no way to get here. The jet streams are real, okay? They're real. I know that's a, like a hard to wrap your mind around, but the jet streams are actually real, and they carry shit in 2,400 miles in 24 hours. And the ocean carries it 50 miles in 24 hours. and But it's not going to get here for 10 years. You can't deny and, and the laws of physics, right, that the ocean is not going to change just because you said it's not going to get here for 10 years. It's fucking traveling at 2 kilometers an hour, 2 miles an hour, and up to 9 kilometers an hour. The, the, the Hiroshima current goes right across the ocean. And then the rain's picking that up. To convection and evaporation, rather, and bringing it in uh, and updating your coastline, your country, and that's washing back down to the shoreline. But it's, but it's, but it's not going to show up because a, a, a apologist from an institution said so. But what about the physics? What about all the models? What about the Trans-Pacific pollution models showing large friggin' particles from cars come right across the friggin' ocean, but the stuff from Fukushima, one one thousandth the size of that stuff, won't make it across. You got any idea how ludicrous those statements are? How fucking harmful those statements are? How misleading and how much deception is put into that narrative? Ken Buesler will say the same thing, right? He said, no, we can't find only a beckel or two beckels of cesium. But then a few minutes later, but don't worry because you allowed 7,500 beckels in your drinking water. How can you have 7,500 beckels in your drinking water but you can't find any in the fucking water? Right? Ask yourself some simple questions. You will see the simple lie. Right? It's the way they talk and the way, and nobody calls them out. Nobody in the audience says, you know, you're a lawyer. You don't need to do that. You just say, a banana's got nothing to do with a Ken, and I disrespect you. You know that. And anybody who even looks it up will know that. It's homeostasis. You eat a freaking banana, you off-gas potassium-40. Your body can't hold any more than you got in it. I fucking hate you for what you're doing. You disgusting prick. Melted fuel may have sunk into the ground. Kyoto, you expert. We are now head to head with a situation that mankind has never faced before. But Dana, you, you swear, Dana, we're not going to listen to you. Dana, you, you're not from Harvard, Dana. But I got, I got all the Harvard stuff. They lie too. Dana, you're not from MIT. But I got all MIT. I studied at all these places for many years. I studied at Harvard. I studied at Yale. I studied at Berkeley. I studied at MIT. Through the internet. I got over 7,000 lectures before I stopped collecting them. And I didn't collect everything I, I listened to. I only collect the stuff I wanted to listen to over and over. That I wanted to, to have knowledge. And what I ended up with was I had to go out and research what they say to make sure they were telling me the truth. And it got to the point where I couldn't do it anymore. I just couldn't keep up with the lies and the manipulations. And here we are with the nuclear industry with an ocean filling up with three melter reactors and they're trying to tell you it's 7% as bad as Chernobyl. CNN, headline, I'll get it for you in a minute here. We are now head to head with a situation that mankind has never faced before. With a monster that doesn't exist anywhere else in the universe. That, that literally comes from a totally different paradigm. These elements that we create are not created by the sun. The sun creates elements. We destroy them. And we turn them into a creature that, that doesn't exist. And we can't contain it. And it's murder. And we're not even going to try to deal with it. We're going to let the homeless in Fukushima? Yeah, I'm really upset tonight. Over half of the fuel is melted out at reactor 2 and 3, says TEPCO. Assumed the worst scenario. November the 30th, 2011. Over half the fuel is melted out at reactor 2 and 3, says TEPCO, and he assumes the worst scenario. Gee, I wonder what it is. They just can't come out and say it. They made 5,000 models of the dispersal of the aerosols in the first 50 days and never told the population that paid for it, that put them in place for it, that gave them the buildings and the vehicle, the equipment, the training, the monetary, the authority to go do exactly that. They went and done it 
And the only part they didn't do was tell the people who paid for it what they found. They should hang those fuckers in the street. Just pick them up and lynch the fuckers. Fuck them. Lynch them. That's what you should do with these fuckers. Just a couple of hundred thousand of you. Run down there. Flip everything out of the fucking way. Lynch anything that gets in your fucking way. And lynch them. Get them off the fucking planet. Get them off the fucking planet right fucking now. Because they don't deserve to breed the same fucking air as me and you. They're not human. They turned their back on you and murdered you. It takes 10 or 15 or 20 years to, for it to happen. But they murdered you. And you better fucking do it to them at some point. Because they're doing it to you worse and worse. They're bringing in laws. They're rushing in the robots. They're rushing in the drone. They're rushing in the track tracing database. And, and they can't contain you right now. But they will in the future. If you fucking get a hold of them now. Get a hold of them. Fucking be done with it. No one's going to blame you. No one's going to be angry at you. No one's going to be a whole grudge against you for doing it. For lynching those fuckers. Those pricks. It's going to happen. I can guarantee you. New Holly radioactive leak at Fukushima. Believed to be draining into the Pacific Ocean. October the 2nd. 200,000 Beckles a liter of strontium and other beta ray emitters. 200,000 Beckles in a liter. You drink that. It's not like a banana where you off-gas it. It accumulates in your body. It stays there. And it's pumping out 200,000 Beckwells a second. And every white blood cell your body can make and every joint and your spleen and your pelvis is gone mad fighting this till you die. You won't be able to breathe because the white blood cells will literally displace the oxygen till you're almost unconscious in your body. Because your white blood cells, right, that'll make you weak because you got less oxygen. So the more radiation you get into you, the weaker you get because your body, for the rest of your life, is pumping out white blood cells to build a sarcophagus to try to contain these radioactive elements, these atoms, these particles. New York Times, human crisis unfolding in Fukushima. Many now realizing we're being lied to. We're being lied to. We know that we're being lied to. We don't need to realize it. <laughs> well, I only realized it six months ago how bad this fucking was. And I haven't stopped since. Many now realize we're being lied to. They can't fix things. They can't handle it. And many dare have given it up. The New York Times, October the 2nd, 2013. Water now at Fukushima plant has three times more cesium in Chernobyl's total release. That was August the 2nd, 7th. It underscores the scale of that never-ending crisis, though, right? It's certain that fission is occurring. Uh, November the 2nd, 2011. Says Tepco, chain reaction may also be underway at reactor number 1 and 3, trying, trying to determine if reaction continued. It didn't stop. How can it stop? Have you ever seen pictures of that place? The footage of a new joint sarcophagus at Chernobyl is still nowhere near dealing with the corium even after 25 years. They still can't get at the 30% meltdown at Chernobyl. It was a 30% meltdown. They conscripted 600,000 soldiers. 600,000. Get your dose, boys. Turn the man up. And there was another 400,000. There was 600 helicopter pilots that flew over that and dropped boric acid and lead and other things down and sand down on top of the reactors before they were able to get in close to it. All 600 of those pilots uh, died of radiation exposure. All, some of them fell right out of the fucking sky from, from disorientation, from the radiation affected them because they, they flew over right through the plume. That's how bad that stuff is in large quantities. In Fukushima on March the 13th people here were falling out. Their hair was falling off their body in the street. There's a street in Fukushima where over a period of time seven people freaking died on that one street since Fukushima. No record of anybody ever dying before on that street. Uh, and he's still uh, in, uh, by the way, you know 
Chernobyl is one third the size of any other reactors at Fukushima. Chernobyl was a different type of fuel. Nothing compared to what they use at Fukushima is, is two million times worse to just Unit 3, and they admit that. Look it up. Unit 3 is two million times worse than any other reactor on the planet. That means it's two million times worse than Chernobyl. That don't concern you. That don't worry you. If that don't piss you off that you're being lied to and manipulated at such an extent, then you got fucking issues, okay? That you need to resolve. Because you need to get at, you need to get angry. There's no no more time for this passive fucking aggressive shit. You need to get in their fucking faces. You need to pick up a phone and phone up the institution of where they got their degree and say, why is he allowed to say that? I want it on the record while you don't do something. Because that's what I'll be doing. That's what I'll be doing from now on. I'm tired of it. No one's going to do it. we got to do it ourselves. we got to do it all ourselves. we got to create enough people that we could do it. Is what we got to do. we got to educate enough people Right, so that they are afraid to do it. The opposition has to be so loud that when they do it, that it becomes a trending topic of the fucking day. And that's what we're going to do. I guarantee you that's what I'm going to be doing. I don't give a fuck what it takes. But we are going to dominate. Period. We are going to be more powerful than all of them put together because the truth is that powerful on its own. And if nobody else is going to fucking get out there and, and got up, then that leaves me, I guess. And so be it. Because I can't take it anymore. After watching Ken Buesler today, you could never give me resolve like that had done to me today. I had to crash. That's how much I fucked up my mind that he's still out there saying it. And that he'd done it in my country. And that he'd done it at one of my institutions. And I don't like that. That's not right. His job was supposed to be to tell the truth. That's why Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution and Ken Buesler are supposed to exist. To be an independent source. Not to be a fucking monster. Not to be a hateful, hideous creature. Not to be a fucking prick. For lack of better words. There is no better words. That's what he is. In any layman's term, if I see them, I call it to his face in a heartbeat. You're a fucking prick. Because that's fighting words. And what he's doing is a crime against humanity. It's a crime against our planet. It's the crime against the flora, the flora, the phytoplankton, the insects, the animals, the birds, the mammals. It's a crime against the history. It's a crime against the DNA, the genetic makeup of every fucking thing out there. What they're doing to us. We can't stop and just walk away. We can't turn our backs. We can't fucking turn a blind eye. We can't turn it off. We can't walk away. There is no walking away. You can't walk away from something that will fucking murder you now. And will murder everything you ever cared for. Because a handful of corporations control the fucking media. It's time to fucking get back in their face. And you know what? They're dying. Mainstream media, the dinosaur media is dying. It's got the lowest in the last decade. CNN. No clear answers why so many kids born outside the exclusion zone are sick years after the meltdown in Fukushima was only 7% as bad as Chernobyl. Right? And they got no name for who wrote the article, right? No one's going to take responsibility. It was just, they pop it out there and everybody's seeing in, you know? So that was a lobbyist inserted that. 7%? 7% as bad as Chernobyl. That was one third the size of any of the reactors at Fukushima. That was a 30% meltdown where Fukushima was three 100% meltdowns, missing fuel pools, and nobody's contained anything. 7%. So why shouldn't you hate CNN's guts now? Why shouldn't you fucking get in their face if you see them? Why shouldn't you fucking really hate their guts? Give me a reason why after that. You think they didn't know what Stanford said on the 15th 
of March 2011? You think they didn't know what Harvard said on the 16th of March 2011? You think they didn't know what C-SPAN, the NRC, in a Senate hearing said on March the 16th? Do you think they didn't know what MIT said on March the 16th? You better think again. They knew exactly what it, what was said. They knew about the MOX fuel on them dates. They knew about the salt water and the reactors on them dates. And they had the audacity to come out and put that headline and that story out there. That's not a lie. That's a cover-up. That's a fabrication. It's an assault upon your senses. It shouldn't be allowed on TV ever again because of that single lie, because of that kind of fabrication, because of that massive of a misdirection. It's 18 million times worse than Chernobyl, not 7% the size of Chernobyl. That's what really drives me insane, is people like that, they got no integrity, they're not humans. Humans don't work like that. Humans don't think like that. Humans won't act like that. These people would run you over and drive away if there was no witnesses. They, they murdered their way to get up into that media in the first place. They destroyed everybody around them to get that job. And they continue to do that till the day they die. And they'll write a book. And they'll be put up in the media of how great they were and all the people they interviewed. But they are the worst that society has to offer. They are the lowest forms of life. To come out and say it's 7% the size of Chernobyl to protect a fucking monster, the nuclear industry. Lobbyists are not allowed to exist. If you challenge the, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Magna Carters about corporate personhood, then you get rid of lobbyists at the same fucking time because they never existed until corporate personhood. Up to that point, when, when your companies and corporations ran on charters, lobbyists were illegal and they were recognized as being monsters. And, and you can see why they're monsters when you look at people like Ken Busler and CNN and these absolutely hideously disgusting parasites in our society, these traitors of our societies, these, these gross, disgusting twisted and they'll come out if the story was to break the real story was to break they would come out and cover it and they would tell the same story as everybody else and CNN was the first to tell you 20 years ago it was acceptable to walk up and punch their teeth down their fucking throat if they lied to you if you could prove it it's still acceptable to do that today there's no reason that you shouldn't because there's nothing going to hold them accountable on a good smack in the fucking mouth and they got to go to the dentist. That's the only thing that will hold them accountable. We got to change the laws to get rid of corporate personhood, and then we got to bring back the law of hanging, mass hanging, and hang every one of these fuckers because they know what they were doing. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing today. They know they're getting away with it because of an illegal amendment, an illegal law, an illegal constitution amendment that you could destroy if you went after it. And you had the will. Nuclear expert. Water at Fukushima plant. Three times more cesium in Chernobyl. August the 7th, 2011. But uh, this was Ken Buesler. Senior scientist. 100 times more strontium than cesium in water at Fukushima plant. Right? But it's not too concerned the U.S. fish will be affected. Because he spins it like it's just a plume that came out of there. And they're watching it. And it's working its way across the ocean. And the laws of physics have suspended themselves, and the current will only do whatever they predict it's going to do, which is usually take 10 years, and by then it'll be down to a becquel a square meter of cesium. Don't mention the words that it never stopped coming out of there, that it's still coming out of there 400 to 800 tons a day, and that that's equal to 1,000 pounds of dye, radioactive dye, a minute, every minute of every day. It's not just a plume, it's the endless plume. And that radiation in about 20 years will work its way right back to Japan. And it will lose none of its half-lives. And it has 10 of them. And so if it's got a 30-year half-life, it means it lives for 300 years. It's just disgusting. New York Times, 400 tons of highly radioactive water going in the Pacific each day. August the 7th, 2013. 
top nuclear regulator. This is a crisis. It's a crisis. That's why we're here every night. That's why I'm angry last night. That's why I'm angry tonight. Because I watch Ken Busler. That's why I get angry every time you see me angry. It's because I watch Ken Busler or I watch read CNN's article where they lied or I read Dean News or I read Jay Cullen or I read all the other brines and stupid monsters that are PR firms. All your universities and nuclear propaganda machines. All your institutions. All your medias are propaganda machines. Your favorite host has a litany of education and tickets and certificates in PR. Their job is to sell whatever the flavor of the day is. CNN, August the 6th, 2013. Expert. Nuclear. Fukushima plant is in charted territories. On charted territories. Highly radioactive water to be either boiled until it evaporates or dumped in the ocean. How about we fucking drown you in it? And we see how much we can soak up with you, you prick. Matt Smith, you piece of shit from CNN. Boil off radiation. Why not put it in a sarcophagus like you told us the industry has been doing, which they've never done. Everything is vented into your community. There is no such thing as a sealed container. Everything is vented. There, everything is leaching into our environment all the time. It has to stop. We don't even try. 4,000 peer review studies a day and none of them on how to deal with this. How come? If we spent a whole week and took peer review studies and put in work on this, we would solve literally most of our fucking problems. And that's just North America. Yeah, I'm pissed off. Don't think I'm not. CNN. Reactors may be riddled with holes. Experts suspect full meltdown at number one, two, and three, but it's only 7% at Chernobyl. Right, you can't fucking... It's like they just... Whoever they got in the office today is allowed to say whatever they want from the nuclear PR firms and they just print it. Pfft. Nuclear engineer. 276 quadrillion becquels of cesium-137 enters Fukushima basements. It's triple Chernobyl's release just sitting in the basement. Just in the basement from fucking water. Three times. But CNN, oh, it's only 7% of Chernobyl's total fucking release out of Fukushima. Like, they didn't know there was three melter reactors and number four spent fuel pool blew up. And don't forget the video on May the 20th, a week and a half ago, of reactor four where a massive fire expands at least 1,800 feet over a 30-minute period. And we don't get no news on what it is. And then we got them out there in our videos saying, oh, TEPCO's got a structure to support Building 4. That structure does not touch Building 4. Building 4 has no support. That building is to support a, a crane that's going to come in and gently reach down inside of the building that is not touching Building 4 and try to extract some of the bundles from that building that detonated. I know, I'm pissed off tonight. Japanese new expert. Melted fuel rods estimated to be 12 meters underground. Got like 8 minutes left. I better start boogieing. 8 minutes to go. Hang on, folks. Estimated to be 12 meters underground. Reactor numbers 1 and 3 to be 100 feet deep in a year. That was September 21st, 2011. The Japanese nuclear expert saying it'll be 100 foot down in a year. We know it'll probably be six times that. But he's saying, you know, to our studies and what we're known. But yet people are still out there beating me up saying there's no melt-throughs or there's no meltdowns or there's no nuclear contamination. When you got 300,000 Beckles from one end of Japan to the other end of Japan, when they decontaminate a town, which can't be done with battery acid, you know, Radchick got up on an RT and had that flushed out and stuck it to him. So they, they dig up six inches of the topsoil, they bring it to another prefecture, they grind it up, and they burn it in the incinerator, where it's 100,000 to 300,000 becquels a kilogram coming out of that and getting deposited all over another prefecture. 
And so if everybody is contaminated, then we're all the same. And so we go to the Ken Buesler effect where it doesn't matter. I'm going to challenge Ken Buesler to a ring, to a fight in a ring. I'm in a wheelchair, okay? So it's kind of a fair fight. But my fucking rage, I'm still going to do him really good. I'm going to knock his fucking nose right into his ear when I hit him. A charity fight. Good against evil Ken Buesler. Good against the maniacal nutcases, the whack jobs, the wackos, the demented people that will be hanging from fucking street lamps in the future if I get my way. Pricks. New York Times. For the first time, TEPCO emits fuel deep inside three stricken plants, probably continuing to experience burst of fission. Fission at reactor one, two, and three. November 2nd, 2011. So, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Nine months of hemorrhaging radioactive material aerosoled into your environment is what they're saying. See? See how that works? Yeah? Now do you get it? It's like St. Paddy's Day going up. These particles are much smaller than automobile and forest fires. And we got the peer review academic studies and how they're transported across that Pacific fucking ocean. Trans-Pacific fucking corridor. Lick your iPhone chargers on the count of three. One, two. <laughs> okay, let me keep going. We're finishing up here right now, folks. Finishing up, I went right off again tonight. Started off with the full intentions and not swearing. But that Ken Buesler done me in the day, man. And I made it through 20 minutes of the video, I gave up on it. It made me so fucking angry, I had to go crash for an hour. Nuclear fuel is melted to the base of Fukushima plant, the Telegraph, June 8, 2011. TEPCO. 68 tons of nuclear fuel melted at Fukushima Reactor fucking 1. December 1st, 2011. 3,000 degrees Celsius. 68 tons. There's no technology on the planet. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. To be the screaming demon I am tonight, which is unusual, I know. Mind you, a lot of people probably like that anyway. Reactor number one fuel rods completely melted amidst TEPCO. May the 17th, 2011. Ah! 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 <laughs> it's melted fucking through. I'm only going to tell you 500 more fucking times. It's fucking melted fucking through. Okay. Well... That's it for me, folks. That's all I got. That's all I fucking got. Yeah, good night, Laurie. Good night, original Punisher. I never got through all the headlines. I'll pick it up again Monday. I'll probably make a video and put all these in the video and stick it out there. That's for Art, Wanda, Monterey's, Hoodwinked by an Angel. You said Amthurs, James Bick, Kerry, Sean, Stephen, Jill, Masterialization, War Prophet, Amthurst. Yeah, he's going to wish he never met me, Amthurst. Roosevelt, Fukushima and Revelations, Miss Milky the Clown. Hi, honey, we send you hugs. We see how hard you're working. You know Dana loves you, right? Checks and balances, MSVS, we know you're busy. Don't worry, sweetie. Nuts for Art, Standing Foot, Matthew Wack, Rick Robinson, Mr. I Can See, James Beck, DC Babu, Don B, everybody else, good night. Original Punisher, I'm sorry I went off, but I don't think, but it looks of like it, nobody cared. Everybody's still rocking and they're rolling. And sometimes we got to get it out of our system. Sometimes we got to just put that energy out there because subconsciously, they're going to know. That's the way I feel about it. And so once in a while, you got to, you know, you got to share the reality that I'm so sick of people saying that this is not an issue. You know, 
Well, I'm not here for something to do. I'm not here because I want to be. Uh, nobody is. Miss Milky doesn't work as hard as she does because she wants to be. Missing Sky, New Room Magic, Rad Chick, you know, and the many people I never mention, and I, I watch your videos because I watch everything. I, I read everything. And I can't keep up. I can't comment because I can't keep up with what I'm reading anyway. And I'm grabbing it and reading it later on the go every chance I get. I don't friggin' stop. It's 24-7. Every computer I got is dedicated to this one, to flush this out, to get, to make sure I understand it so that I, I don't misinterpret it, I don't mislead anybody, I don't misrepresent anything, ever. Because they can do it, but I can't, and I won't. And I shouldn't, right? And they shouldn't, but they do, and that's all they do, right? The difference between us and them is we don't lie. The difference between us and them is we don't make anything up. The difference between us and them is we stick with vetted facts, facts only. And the difference between us and them is we will win. We will persevere and prevail because we are a force to be reckoned with. And we are just forming what is truly happening. And as the population wakes up and gets hold of our narrative, what I'm the, the, the anger and the animosity I show here tonight is nothing, is you is nothing compared to what is coming their way from the people. Because when they find out the truth, and they, they will, like I did, like you did, and like everybody else that did, when you finally found out what the truth was, and you you found the real narrative, you realize those fucking bastards, and that's why you're here, and that's why you're out there, and that's why you're searching like us. That's why we're all searching for each other, right? It's because we all understand that together we are fucking victorious and divided. We all hang separately. And so let's not divide. <laughs> it happens, but don't worry about it. Right? Just say, I'm sorry, and get back on track. That's the best you can hope for, and it's the ethical and the moral thing to do. So hugs for everybody. We'll catch everybody tomorrow night or the night after. I'm not sure because it's the weekend, and it's nice weather, so I'm going to take advantage of it. Take care, folks. Yeah, not going to let me go that easy. Going to make me sign in again, which is good, because it only does it if I got something else to say. And do I got another headline there for us to piss me off before it gets offline here? Fukushima 50 special. Unit 4 pool had boiled dry raising the specter of a nuclear fission chain reaction. So that's a good one to think about when the Fukushima 50 was in there, right? And the Unit 4 had boiled dry. The experts should have known right then and there, right then and there that very second, that, that this is no longer a game or a cover-up. You need to, to do something with it. And the homeless at Fukushima are not the people that should be doing this, right? Send Ken Buesler in the Fukushima. Make him fucking stay there until he fucking dies. That's what they should be doing. Take care, folks. Oh, yeah. Go on. Click the subscribe button. Uh, we need to get subscribe and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I said, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.